Hugely likeable man from Austria. Seven months out with a wrist injury last year. And only been back a matter of months and already a winner again. And of course a 61 yesterday. Very nice man. Almost impossible to get this one close, pin very near the right hand side of the green. Well, he couldn't have played it any better, could he? Couldn't it? Come on. That is just outstanding from where he was. He took a big risk. Could easily have left it at the top of the hill there. Go, stop, go, stop, go. Oh, this could be good. What do you think? What do we think? What do we think? Oh, what do we? Ooh. I really felt there was going to be a hole in one here. Uh, Beesberger, is this the first man to get to 15? We shall see. This to take the lead. Lovely camera angles it off the left. No, oh, it's straight in the middle. Beesberger takes the lead. 15 under par. So down to the par five seventh. 543 yards. Bart Beesberger has birdied it in each of the previous rounds. Nervous moments there with those deep pot bunkers over to the left, but he negotiated them nicely in the fairway. Five time European Tour winner now. After that win in Denmark in May. Nicely on the seventh and two. Long eagle putt coming up. Try. So Beesberger almost hold it for Eagle. This for his birdie. Back in front on his own again. Well done. Ready. Pick it up, Wayne. Out in front. He's on the ninth tee. Another glorious iron Very shot from Leesburg. Brilliant. The lead is three. 18 under par, 31 to the turn. Four birdies, no bogeys. Bird Leesburger. Bunker up the left side. This 255, not in play. Excellent, Pop. Oh, yeah. That is an aggressive swing, a free swing. There's no tension in there for the Austrian. Like a man on top of his game, Jay. Absolutely. He's playing with a ton of confidence. Talked to him quite a bit last week, and he's just feeling it. Happy to be back. I think an injury when you're out for a long time puts the game in perspective. 444, this 11th. Bunker on the left is about 275 to carry. He can do that easily enough, so that takes that out of play. He's hitting driver, and it's just a question of then of hitting it straight. Fairway's generous, good 30 Lovely, yards mate. wide. Beautiful tee shot from the leader there, Biesberger, in perfect position on 11. Beesberger leading at 18 under par, still with seven to play in this third round. The record 54-hole score, incidentally, in the Scottish Open. Ian Woosner, who was 17 under. It's come up a little bit light. Good one from Beesberger, getting better and better. Very nice for our leader, looking to get to 20 under par. Just doesn't seem to have any stop at all in him. Yeah. Uh, See, he's going over the left corner. Right. Just, oh! a <laughs> Just a magnificent shot from Beesberger. 54 holes. David Howell holds the record, 26 in the 2006 TCL Classic in China. Beesberger's this to tie up. Too short to read this putt, so just straight with a little bit of pace. And a brilliant way to finish after 17. Impressive Doogie. Oh, fantastic. He's just played so well. Well, so many have played so well, Ken. It's been a terrific three days. Yes, 
his best of a round on a European Tour yesterday with a 61 and today his lowest 54 hole total he's led on his own five times on the European Tour and he's converted three of those leads what's he going to do tomorrow? An excellent round. It was a bit of a slow start, but then it all kicked off for you with that birdie on the fifth, didn't it? Yeah, I thought I played all right. Uh, actually, the first couple of holes, I hit uh, a couple of really nice iron shots into the greens, but uh, you know, I wasn't, uh, wasn't kind of kicking off early on in the round, but then actually with probably the, the poorest shot we've hit on five, kind of the, the contours took it to the hole and we, we took advantage and kind of took it as a, as a you know, as a, as a get-go for the round and uh, a couple of birdies followed and then again it kind of stalled for us on the back nine a little bit where we weren't able to to make putts or, or get anything going but um, you know luckily we've we've had a decent finish to the day and uh, obviously a, a, a solid round out there. Yeah and you were bogey free though just until the 17th which must have been quite disappointing for you but very satisfying then to finish on a birdie. Yeah, we were in between clubs. Uh, we tried to take the front out of play, which was a, a, a bad leaf. And, uh, you know, it's tough to get the wind right back in that corner. Uh, it's very, very um, uh, sheltered back there. But, uh, you know, I was um, maybe a bit over my pace with the, pro with the first part, the leg part, and then just wobbled a little bit on me on the return. But, you know, um, just, just got to take the good with the bad. I had a couple that just wobbled in as well today, so it kind of evened itself off. But obviously, I would have loved to... Uh, to come in bogey uh, free. And what is it about your game that made you seem so comfortable out there in general today? Um, like really everything feels comfortable out there. I've, I've got a decent plan of what I'm doing with, uh, with my time before the round and, and, and what I'm doing during the round. And uh, it just, uh, yeah, it just feels very, very relaxed and, uh, but still um, focused when I, when I need to hit my shots. And um, I think it, it kind of shows these first three days. To watch another European tour video, click here. Or to subscribe, click here.